You don't remember the words to the Jeff is saying. Don't nobody remember the words to shit. But I know, or I, I love the music as a child. I remember the words to all my favorite shows and the little song that would come on. <laughs> The three of uh, sword, all right, and the reverse, because you're a real person, you're moving on up. You're goddamn right with the six of wands. Look at you. Moving on up. All right, so, Holy Spirit, tell me more. In the recent past, that, uh, that this is I don't know what, what you've done, but you unlocked something with your spiritual team. Come on, Holy Spirit. In the recent past, what was the uh, that you betray, uh, betray you? That uh, whose secrets got exposed? I'm gonna tell you secrets. I'm going to tell all your secrets. I'm going to tell all your secrets. Yes. <laughs> so somebody that was trying to stay hidden, but they got exposed, so they have to let the shit go. Holy Spirit, tell me who this king of pentacles is, please. For my Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, High Priestess, that was thought they was being sneaky, doing black magic. Okay, it could be, it's heavy uh, earth time here. Somebody could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising that couldn't backstab and betray you. That wanted to stay hidden. They didn't want you to know what they was doing behind the back. Throwing rocks and hiding their hand and shit. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Please clarify who this little page of pentacles is that thought they, thought they was doing some magic in the background and nobody would know who they was. This is the mother or father of one or more of your children. This is a black man. intensity I feel like my head is about to pop off and these like all these hands are different colors I feel like this is from lifetimes and lifetimes and Memories. And look at that card. You have so many memories of different things. These are like angels, ancestors, guides. This card, it's like a key is here. There's a candle. There's pictures. You're remembering so much. It says your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. People come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and then they move on, while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. So this is, you know, of course, like a reason, season, a lifetime. You know what I'm getting though from this? Some of you, you had a person in your life that was in your life for a reason, a season. Some of you, it's, when this literally says, while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals, for some of you, whoever this person is that has really been hurting you, they keep coming back into your life or this energy because there's a lesson that you need to learn about letting go. 
There's a lesson that you need to learn about letting go and about actually, like, you have to learn something about yourself. And it's also, too, like, God was pretty much, like, allowing you to kind of be broken down, if I have to be honest, so that you will finally find the strength to reach out and ask for help. Because this is not a, a battle that you can fight alone. You're never alone. It says, just as there are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team, and all you have to do is ask for help and guidance. That's what I'm saying. Like, the, the overwhelming feeling that I have right now, I'm like, there's no way this could be just one person. It can't be one person. It can't be two. It's like a whole army of these high, high-ranking beings. It says, your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they are, if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. Self-sabotage. And then here is new beginnings. Oh, my God. Y'all, some of you, if I have to be honest, y'all have all these different... Um, people or members of your spiritual team that something really, really bad must have recently happened behind the scenes for all these beings to show up. It's like you have angels that are hopping literally, I'm, it's like they're they're like hopping in the bodies of everybody around you. What I'm saying for some of you, y'all don't understand Whatever somebody had targeted to do to you, I'm talking like these angels, they're hopping in the bodies of your neighbors, co-workers, friends, family. It does not matter. They're making sure this is a lot of very, very, very supernatural type of energy and activity that's happening. And you just need to have a lot of faith and courage about this new beginning, no matter what it looks like right now, because there's still this lingering energy coming around you of self-sabotage. It says when you learn to let go of your, when you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most, most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's the inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. So like I said, for some of you, somebody or a group, what your life looks like to them. That's what your life looks like to whoever this person and, you know, they feel some kind of way. They had an ego. Has been so invested in causing this nine of swords. Uh, be something against you. Uh, this is someone you were in a connection with. 